Hi, this is Tim of the Watch Box at Dubai Watch Week 2019. I am with UK watchmaker Charles Frodsham and the long-awaited double impulse chronometer. 42.2 millimeters, in this case, in an extraordinary 22 karat yellow gold. When was the last time you saw a 22 karat case? Probably never. If this is your initiation, you're gonna like what follows. You can see the dial has been thoroughly inspired by history, right down to the hands, the numerals, and the fonts used, all inspired by Charles Frodsham's historic pocket watches and carriage clocks. The company, dating back to the 1830s, is principally known as a manufacturer of carriage clocks and has been a supplier to the monarchy and a holder of royal warrants. Now the dial, we'll get a little bit closer, features foot set three-dimensional annealed radial Arabic numerals and you can see they have a lovely violet blue color that comes from firing them for less time than you would ordinarily find with blued steel. You'll also note that the hands are wonderfully handcrafted and three-dimensional in a way you don't get with industrially cut pieces. You can see the watch via its sunken sub-seconds under a porcelain dial that is likewise made in the UK beating away at 21,600 vibrations per hour and unlike many watches that purport to be chronometer or chronometer grade this one actually features hacking or stop seconds now we're going to turn it all over and you can see the case exquisitely finished with sharp edges to the lugs and strong masculine lines features an extraordinary caliber manual wind that includes intellectual contributions from both George Daniels and Derek Pratt, giants of British watchmaking and horology generally. Now you can see that the bridges themselves are a kind of bronze and the alloy is exquisitely frosted in a handsome pocket watch inspired finish. Now let's start from the crown and work our way to the balance in the escapement. You could see adjacent to the crown, the crown wheel, and then adjacent to that, there's a power reserve indicator with a sort of snail shell or seashell motif. You could see there's an index placed immediately adjacent and then you have the twin ratchet wheels with twin clicks atop the mainsprings, which have been equalized to provide even torque throughout their wind to the double direct impulse escapement system, which as you can see, operates via twin independent trains. The best way to think of this watch is as two movements in one case. Now the double direct impulse escapement, if you trace it historically, dates back to 1802 with Breguet and the so-called natural escapement. Now that featured one power supply and a problem that involved precision of manufacturing as well as play between the two wheels when driven by a single mainspring barrel. Daniels and Frodsham found a solution in the twin barrel power reserves. Now because the springs are equalized and it's important to maintain equal torque on both sides to maintain equal amplitude as the balance is impulsed only in its direction of travel alternately by each wheel and this directly but they have to be equalized and measured beforehand and then there's a stop works installed so that they never drop below a tension level at which their torque is even so there is a stop works that stops the watch after its 36 hour chronometric power reserve now i'm going to stop the balance so you can see it's free sprung architecture this is proprietary to fraudsham you'll also note their overcoil hairspring the watch has been adjusted in all positions and is an exquisite timekeeper you also get a better sense of the wheels themselves when the motion is stopped you can see alternately there is a blocking lever that sits between this is not to be confused with a swiss lever which acts on the balance between the escape wheel and the balance this is only to halt the wheel that is not in the process of directly impulsing the balance itself now you'll see an array of finishes from frosted, a sort of satin graining, to black polish on the unique triple spoke balance bridge. When was the last time you saw one of those? There's a unique system, as you can see there is a metal cover that is not to be confused with shock protection atop the capstone and the balance. And it actually features a measure of free play or give elastically to the actual pivot of the balance staff and that serves the purpose of shock protection in lieu of shock protection because research by Frodsham as well as its associate Derek Pratt has suggested that this system is superior to a KIF or Inca block style mobile capstone and shock protection spring. But the timepiece is exquisitely finished where you can't see it, the ultimate mark of integrity and you can see the handsome satin finished wheels in the parallel drivetrains. Now they're going to make 10 of these watches per year maybe as many as 12, but you're not going to see many, and if you're wondering, the wait list is about three years. The watch is available in white gold, rose gold, stainless steel, as well as this exquisite 22 karat, which is how I would get mine. And then you have your choice of Arabic numeral or Roman numeral dials. You can also have the dial blazoned with the royal warrants 
that are serviced by Fraudsham. The timepiece is exquisitely nostalgic, created by a brand that still actively creates and services products with a vintage air about them, the pocket watches and the carriage clocks, and if you buy one of these watches, it came out of the same atelier that served the Monarchy, one of the most exciting new watches of 2019, 10 to 12 a year, the Charles Fraudsham Double Impulse Chronometer.